Hello and welcome back to KTech Designs. My name is Seth. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I modeled this computer fan grill in FreeCAD. Um, it's a pretty simple model. I thought it would be fun to actually model one for 3D printing and print it out. Um, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how I modeled this and I'll show you the finished product at the end. And with that, let's get started. All right, so from the start page, let's create a new part. Move over to the part design workbench. Create a body, create a sketch. I'm gonna pick the XC plane. Uh, first, we're gonna model the, um, the little cross legs here. So draw a line there. Let's draw a three point arc this way and then one this way. Grab these two, press T for tangent. Grab these two, press T for tangent. Uh, now I want this point to be collinear with this line, so let's draw a construction line there, and we'll make these two parallel. Um, let's dimension this diameter, that should be 3.5. And this radius is six. Uh, we also need to dimension the uh, hole spacing. So let's drop a point in there. Make these symmetric. Make their length, their spacing 105 millimeters. And then we'll do the same here. Actually, we can re mirror all of this. First, I need to add in a reference circle. This circle represents the hole, uh, the clearance hole for the screw. And so that diameter, oh, I see. So let's delete that. This diameter is the 3.5. And I want to set a thickness here. So I'm going to add this line, make these parallel. Actually, I'll just add a second line here. Make those parallel. Now I'm going to dimension this to uh, 1.5, that'll work. Uh, this we want to control so that it doesn't merge in uh, with the rest of the part. Otherwise the sweep won't work. Oh, I need that. So I'm just gonna give it an angle here. An angle of 20 degrees. All right, that looks good. Now we want to mirror these. So select all of these. Yeah, I only need those for the mirror. And then, uh, where is it? Oh, we want to grab our symmetric axis and copy. Okay. I'm going to set these equal. Set these equal. And this equal. And then I'm going to set these points symmetric. And dimension them to 105. It's a little messy, but we can clean it up. Make these uh, coincident. I'm just going to set all these points symmetric. It would be nice if FreeCAD would automatically do that when you uh, create a symmetric part. That would be extremely helpful. Okay, so that's good. Now we need to come over here and I actually want to fill it this. 
um, uh, constraint preserving fillet. And we want that dimension to be uh, 12 or 6, sorry. Radius of 6. Okay, then I want a point here. And that will be dimension from the vertical axis, 8 millimeters. Okay, our sketch is fully constrained. That looks good. Close it. Uh, the next sketch we need to make is the profile itself, and we're going to do that on the top plane. So we're going to grab this plane. Um, I guess we, we don't need to reference off of that. We'll just dimension it to 8. Uh, so we want to make a... Let's go back to the top plane. We'll make it flat here and a circle and then trim those out didn't exactly <laughs> trim the way I wanted it to oh never mind that's getting in the way then um, we'll trim this middle one out or just delete it. That works too. These need to be not the line. Coincident. Tangent. Those are not coincident yet, so let's merge those. I always pick the wrong one. T for tangent. Okay, that looks good. Now we need this uh, centered on there, so um, a little dimension from here. Go to the top plane. That should be 8. Uh, this diameter is 3. And I believe this height is 1.5. Uh, representing a full circle there, but we're going to model this with a flat uh, because I'm going to 3D print it. If I wanted to model it as a, a real part, um, I would get some funky features here. It won't... Uh, well, if I don't use support material, I'll get uh, like a flattened out shape anyway. Um, but this will provide a, a good surface for adhesion. Okay, close that. Now we can go ahead and select our profile and our path, and uh, we'll sweep. Where's the sweep? There we go. Perfect. Click OK on that. So now the next thing we need to do is model our uh, grill pattern, and I will do that um, on the... Yeah, it doesn't really matter since it's circular. I'm just going to pick the YZ plane. Let's hide that. I can hide the sketch too. I don't need that reference. Uh, we just need to remember to uh, model rev relative to this datum. So I'm going to do this as a pattern. We'll model the outermost uh, feature. Trim that. Can just delete that one. Okay, that did connect. That's good. Let's connect these two. All right. Um, we'll make those tangent. That'll handle that. I was going to make those uh, vertical, but you don't need to with the tangent connection there. All right, so we need to make sure that this diameter is 3. Let's go. And that this leg is 1.5. Now the outermost dimension here, let's select off of that, is what I want to dimension to. And that is um, 120. 
millimeters, which is the size of the uh, fan that I'm using. Or it's the size of the fan I'm going to be using this on. Alright, so now let's select these and let's make our pattern. Uh, the number of columns, it's, we need to flip this. So there's one column and eight rows. Sorry, let's get a one on there. Okay. Select all of those and clone. Select OK. Um, and then we want to stretch this out to the rough dimension unless we can get it perfectly here. 7.5 and 90. Nope, that did not that did not go correctly. Let's try this again. Maybe I had it right the first time. Seven point five and ninety. Come on. Okay, I'll fix it later. Okay, that's right. Oh, I wonder why that didn't look right. Uh, 120 is the uh, the diameter. So let's grab a point over here. Let's grab this point. And then make those symmetric. And it's going to be cranky with me. So I'll just undo that for now. Um, I'm going to change this to 90. And then, come on, free cat. Seven point five, and I'll just dimension half of one twenty. Sixty. Are you kidding me? So I'll just drag this down closer. Get rid of that point. Must be struggling with all the uh, constraints on here. Okay, let's try this again. 60. Okay, that looks good. Let's close that sketch. Can show that. And then let's uh, revolve this shape. Yeah, there it is. Pick the Y axis. Perfect. That looks good. Click OK. All right. That's pretty much it. Uh, we're just going to take this uh, pipe here. Create a mirror of that. Uh, yep, that's the correct plane. Click OK. That does look a little off, doesn't it? These should be um, merged a little bit more, but I suppose that'll that'll work. Let me just check on this sketch. Where am I? No, not that one. Uh, these should be merged a little bit more, so let's edit the sketch here. I do have that as 8. Ah, of course. That should have been 4. So we'll close that. Uh, I'll just delete that. Do it over again. Okay. Okay, that sketch didn't change. Oh, right. 
This one did. What should both be for? This is probably a good situation for where you'd want to uh, connect this to the sketch below it. But uh, we figured it out. It's not a problem. Okay, that's better. Um, I wanted more overlap like that. So we'll grab the pipe again, create our mirror. Click OK. Nice. That's it. Uh, it's a neat little model that's uh, pretty useful. Oops. Don't need perspective on there. Um, another thing that you can do to clean this up that I learned recently is this uh, feature property called refine. So we'll just go ahead and click true. And it'll merge all of these tangent faces. Nice. From an STL export perspective, it doesn't change anything, so you don't really need to do that. Uh, but I do like to have the model cleaned up for adding sketch fillets or um, other kind of references. You want to work off of the cleanest geometry you can. Okay, well, that's it. That was just a nice little model I thought was kind of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please leave a like if you liked it. Please leave a comment to let me know what you thought. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.